good morning students so in our last class we discuss about absolute maxima and absolute minima as not it so all of you know now how to find out the absolute maximum and absolute minima especially when a close interval are given to us so now here today here we have to discuss a uh, word problem like if you see the question is given here like in this way an apache helicopter of enemy is flying along the curve given by y equal to x square plus 7. A soldier placed at 3,7 wants to shoot down the helicopter when it is nearest to him. Find the nearest distance. So that means here in this question, find the nearest distance means we have to find out the minimum distance. So for this, first of all, if you see the diagram practically, if you see the diagram here, for example, this one is the curve here and the equation of this curve is given here y equal to this one is given x square uh, this one is given x square plus 7 so x square plus 7 so now here this one is the part of the Apache helicopter so a helicopter suppose starting from here and it moves like in this way in this curve so this one is the part and now in this case one soldier is placed here suppose and the soldier position is here mentioned as a 3 comma 7 i think this one is mentioned as a 3 comma 7 so obviously this one is in first quadrant so 3 comma 7 so when a helicopter suppose the helicopter is this one when it moves the soldier should and now here we have to find out the nearest distance that means minimum distance so obviously if a helicopter placed here then the distance whatever we get and if the helicopter placed here so obviously the distance is shorter than this one is not it so that means here we have to find out the minimum distance so that means the shortest distance or the nearest distance we have to find out so now when a helicopter moves in this path so obviously at this position there is a point here and we don't know the exact point, exact location, we don't know. So if you assume this one by x and y suppose, we don't know the exact location, so that's why here we denote this one by x comma y. And the soldier position already we know, isn't it? And we have to find out the nearest distance between these two. So obviously we have to apply the distance formula here, isn't it? And for that reason, now here if you see, if you convert this whole point as an x so here x coordinate so in place of y what we can write in place of y we can write this result also y equal to because the path location part is given here y equal to x square plus 7 so that means in place of y we can write here x square plus 7 also from here the point here we can write x comma x square plus 7 in place of y we can write now x square plus 7 actually the location is x comma y and if we replace this y by x square plus 7 then here simply we write x comma x square plus 7 is it clear so now we have to find out the shortest distance between these two so that's why here distance using the distance formula what you have to write root of r x minus 3 so this one we write here x minus 3 whole square plus of the distance formula this one we write here uh, x square plus 7 minus of 7 whole square. This one is the distance formula. Isn't it? So this one we write here root of r. Uh, if you break this one, x square minus 3 to the 6x plus of 3 square means 9. And in this case, 7, 7 cancel. So here simply remain this one is x to the power x square whole square. That means this one remain here x to the power 4. Is it clear? So this one we get. So the distance is here we get this one is x to the power 4 plus of this one is x square minus of 6x plus of 9. This one is the distance here we get. I think all of you understood this one distance x to the power 4 plus 6, uh, x square minus 6x plus 3 we get. So now here the nearest distance we have to find out. So under this root of r, whatever we get, we have to consider this one as a function. So that's why here we write let fx equals to this part. If we assume let fx equal to x to the power 4 
plus of x square minus of 6 x plus of 9. So now this one is an algebraic function. So here we have to find out the nearest distance. Nearest distance means what? The minimum distance we have to find out. The minimum distance, so maximum minimum method, all of you know. So if we apply the second derivative, so at the x equal to when x equal to minimum, we have to find out here. For that reason, the procedure is same. So in this case, what you have to do, just we have to define the result. So therefore, if you define set the result, so that's why f does of x equals to this one we get here four x cube, and this one we get here twice x, and this one we get here minus of six. 4x cube plus twice x minus of 6, this one we get. Now, f does of x, according to our procedure, what you have to write? f does of x equals to 0. Now, if we write f does of x equals to 0, and from here we have to find out the critical point. So, that's why 4x cube minus twice x uh, minus or plus, plus, plus twice x minus of 6 equals to 0. Now, this one we get here. So 4x cube plus twice x minus 6. So now from here, if we take 2 common, if we take 2 common, then here what will remain? I write here. So this one remain here, 2x cube plus of x minus of 3 equals to 0. 2x cube, if we take 2 common here, this one remain 2x cube plus of x minus of 3. Is it clear? So now here we have to factorize this result. So we have to factorize this result 2x cube plus x minus 3 equals to 0. And how can we factorize this one? Let's check out here first of all uh, a cubic polynomial. In class 9 we know in case of cubic polynomial how can we solve. So first of all we have to choose x value in such a way that this result must be equal to 0. So if we assume x equal to 1 if we assume x equal to 1, then 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 minus 3 cancel 0. So, which satisfy this condition, x equal to 1. That means if x equal to 1 satisfy this condition, that means x minus 1 is a factor of this given polynomial. And if we factorize this one, then I write here directly, you have to divide this one. So, x minus 1 is a factor. So, this x minus 1, you have to divide this result. Is it clear? So, when you divide this x minus 1, and when we divide this one, then in this case we get what? Uh, x minus 1. Here we get one more result. So if you divide this one, x minus 1 divided by this, what we get? If we divide this one here, let's check out. As a note, you write this one. If you divide this one here, x minus 1 using the long division. So 2x cubed plus of x minus of 3. So how many times? 2x squared. Then this one we get here 2x cube, 2x square minus 1, that means minus 2x square. So if you calculate this one, 2x cube, 2x cube cancel, so minus this one is 2x square, then plus of x. Then how many times? Plus of twice x. So here 2x square uh, minus of twice x. So if you calculate this 2 minus means plus twice x plus x twice x plus of or minus, minus 3. So how many times? plus of 3. 3 into x, twice x, minus of 3. So ultimately you see here, if you factorize this one, then what we have to write? 2x square plus twice x plus 3. That means in this case, we write 2x square plus twice x plus 3 we have to write. Is it clear? So now here, after dividing this one, now here this one is a factor we get. And in this case, if you write this one x minus n equal to 0 here either we have to write what you have to write either x minus 1 equal to 0 we write and from here we get x equal to 1 and or second part is here 2x square plus twice x plus 3 equals to 0 2x square plus twice x plus 3 so in this case if you evaluate this one then here we get imaginary Because here in this case we get imaginary rules. Reason behind you see, if you see the discriminant here, b square minus 4ac, so b square, b means what here? 2 b square, 2 to the 4, 4ac, 4ac. Ultimately here we get this one is imaginary, isn't it? So now here, 
only the critical point we get here x equal to 1 so we have to verify this result at this point we get maximum or minimum is not it for that reason first of all what you have to do we have to define set the result again so if you define set the result again here f double this of x so therefore if you define set the result f double this of x so now what we get here 12 x square this one we get here 12 x square plus of this one is 2 and 4x cube means 12x square, ddx of twice x means 2. So now here we put x equal to 1. After second derivative, we have to put the critical point. And if you put the critical point here, f double less of 1 equal to what? 12 plus 2 here, ultimately 14. Which one is greater than 0? A positive value. Positive value means what? In second derivative, positive value means what? Minimum. So that means our conclusion is what from here, at which point, at x equal to 1, we get minimum. Minimum means what, the nearest distance, according to our question, what we have to find out? The nearest distance we have to find out. And how can we find out the nearest distance? At x equal to 1, we get the nearest distance. And this x equal to 1, we have to put on the given function, or you, have, you can put here also. If you put here, at this place, or here, any one place, you have to put this one, x equal to 1. So if you put 1 here, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus here, 9, 11, 11 minus 6, 5. Ultimately, the nearest distance is how much? Distance equal to root over 5. So first, we have to verify whether we get nearest distance or not. And after that, this x equal to 1, we have to put here, and then we get the final answer. I hope all of you understood this question, very simple question. So a little bit calculation is here, here. So if you calculate this one properly, so easily we get the answer here. Is it clear? So here we complete our maximum and minimum part. So from in our next class, uh, we again repeat the derivative parts. That means the first derivative and second derivative, again we repeat there. Is it clear? Okay. Thank you.